Hey guys, we are back to metal detecting the beach today and whatever it is, Jim is having a hard time walking up this slope right now. It's not a very steep slope, but <clears throat> I'm trying to be gentle with my back guys. And yes, I've been doing my th physical therapy. Coming in a new location I hardly ever come in at, but that's just because the parking's been full. And I love it when this small little, well, it's a big beach guys, but there's very little parking. And it's long, so people can get really spaced out on this beach. Here's the deal. Today I'm doing my tutorial Tuesday. And we're going to go over my Equinox setting. So when I start it up here right now, I'm going to do a factory preset. All right. Uh, I need to find some targets, so I have something to show you guys. Uh, I did notice on the webcam that a couple of um, this area has been metal detected. Uh, but I can't tell you exact areas where they've hit or how long they hit. I just knew they were here. Okay um, Anyways, so usually when I see that it means the targets are gonna be on the lower side So in this episode of tutorial Tuesday, I am gonna show you my equinox settings I'm gonna start off with the factory preset. We are gonna be selecting the winner of last week's would you dig it? And we will have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway that I'll have to create on this uh, venture today. All right. And that will be for a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next tutorial Tuesday. And guys, I uh, <clears throat> want to let you know that CKG reached out to me again and said, Jim, we're giving you your own promo code. All right. If your viewers use F. WJ at checkout at our ckgscoop.com uh, website then they get 10% off guys I do believe CKG for most part has free shipping all right in the I know that to be a fact in the continental United States I, I don't think I've had to pay for shipping <laughs> comment below if I'm wrong on that all right guys um, but 10% off and free shipping is a fantastic deal. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get started. The very first thing I'm gonna do is a factory preset, guys. So the factory preset, how about dusting this off? Yes, those are scratches. I always say get his cover on, but Jim sometimes doesn't practice what he preach, right? I know, my kids will tell you the same thing. I'm gonna hold it down until I see FP for a factory preset. All right. Okay, guys, so I was getting some interference back there, so I'm gonna show you through my settings again. All right, we will uh, noise cancel as soon as I'm done, okay? So ground balance, I always start off with zero auto, okay? Um, volume all the way up, 25. Now remember, I'm in beach one right now. Um, this is my threshold. It's always going to be at zero. Sometimes I'll bump it up to four, but that's usually a beach two. Uh, five tones. I like two tones. Okay, don't get me wrong. 50 tones is overwhelming. Five tones I can live with. Come on, guys. We want to simplify our life. 50 tones for those who can handle it. Five tones for us uh, other guys, right? And... If you uh, if you have a good ear, 50 tones is great, all right? But I can't handle that. I just can't. I like a, a range. My VDI gives me range. My target gives me range. And I'm going to be digging half of them anyway, so I really don't care. Okay, guys. So the next one is accept reject minus 9. Leave it at that. Don't mess with it, all right? I'm in the dry sand, right? I want a high recovery speed, but if I wanted to get more depth, I could take that down to about four and swing a little slower. Well, in the dry sand, I like to move, move fairly quickly. So I don't believe I'm gonna miss much at six, all right? So six is like factory preset. Most of my settings are almost exactly like factory preset. So, um, Let's do a noise cancel. All right. And 
Um, let's make sure that the sensitivity is at 20. Now, if you're getting a lot of chatter in your area and it can't handle 20, step it down, okay? In beach mode, we're always running multi-frequency, okay? Uh, so when I get over some EMI, I'll show you how to fix that. And then I'm gonna reread some of the questions that I have written down and uh, I will answer some of your questions directly, okay guys? So I wanna find some targets first. See, this is what I hate about a lot of the people that come to the beach. They don't care. They simply just don't care, you know? It's just trash everywhere. Gonna be here too. Let's see another packet up here. All right. That's not the score that I'm looking for. I wanted the gold ring spill, not the uh, hot taco sauce spill. Jeez. All right, cleaning up somebody's mess on the beach. Always my kind of afternoon. <laughs> karma points, guys. It's karma points. All right. And they build up, too. That sounds like aluminum can to me. There's an aluminum can. All shredded, ready to cut some kid's foot. Or Jim's finger. Yeah, I should keep that sand in there for recycling, but I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Alright, I actually finally got a decent target. Out of that hole, I threw it over here because it didn't sound too decent. I think we might have a quarter. It did not... It did not sound like a quarter to begin with. Let's see what it is. Need the quarter. I'll take it. All right. It's got a sticker on it of some sort. Okay. Huh. All right. I'm on to the next. Okay. You guys, I don't know how well you can see that. If that's any better. I'm moving over to beach two, right? Threshold, I'm gonna leave it zero right now. Five tones, minus nine. Now, here's the thing, I'm gonna go to F2. All right, F2, and I'm gonna drop that down to F2, four. Okay? All metal mode. So guys, let me be clear about something here. These are my settings, and I've tried to manipulate a little bit better than the factory preset, but there's not much better here for the Southern California beaches, guys. So let me explain why F2 settings I dropped down to F4. Well, it's very similar to uh, FE6, all right? But I do believe on deep targets, that I can uncover. So just know Jim's method of detecting the beach is I listen for very deep, subtle grunts. Because here's the thing, the iron masks good targets here. So even some of the deepest gold rings guys are gonna sound like iron. You take a couple scoops out and you're gonna hear a better chirp. You're gonna identify it. If it's still grunty and it's, it's really close, it's iron, leave it alone, walk away, you know, fill your hole, move on. That's what I do. Uh, I don't waste my time if I know it's gonna be continuously iron. Um, tent stakes can kind of get me on that at times, you know, cause they chirp off the ends and nails do that too. And that's part of the F24 uh, settings. You're gonna make that chirp just a little bit better. So sometimes you might dig a little bit more iron. But guys, to be honest with you, that is one of my secrets about finding as much gold as I do. And you cannot do that not wearing earphones. You need earphones on. Have to. But look what Jim found. Huge cut. See that, guys? So, 
hopefully we find something decent. I don't know if you guys can see that cut yet. But we're going to be right up next to it. I forgot to tell you, I reduced the recovery speed down to five. And we'll just see how it goes. Hey guys, I got a target right here. It's kind of all over the place. And I gotta remember to Sounds too grunty, but look at all those black sands. Sounds tent stakey. A ring. It's a ring. And this silver wing, that black, right? Alright, let's see what else is here because I can't tell you if that was the first target that I threw out and then I just kept missing it. That must have been it. I just must have been missing the heck out of it. Moving it around or whatever. But this cut can be juicy. Hopefully it's good. Started off with a ring. The black sands here are very difficult to detect over. So what I just did is I moved to uh, probably going to move back to FE settings and turn it up just a little bit but I think I'm okay right now it's not overloading that's what you don't want and I'm still in all metal because I'm in FE2 Has heard that, I'm sure, huh? About right there, maybe. It's wet sand, guys. It's tough. Oh, look at that! It's a copper penny. That might be my first penny. That might be my first penny. This area is slow. I got a target right here, right below that cup. That's like a little can out there. That, that sounds like iron. Seriously, what is this thing? Oh geez, it's a metal bottle cap or something. Okay. A lot of bottle caps. <laughs> Look how rich that black sand is. All that is magnetic. All of it. So that's why it plays havoc with your VLF machines. But your um, BBS technology goes right through this. 
And guys, comment below if you have a CTX, how your CTX handles on the uh, black sand, just like this. Remember, this is brutal, brutal, brutal magnetite. Okay. Another target right below this cut. Keep in mind, I'm gonna do my best to dig. My back is killing me already, and this cut is steep. So, oh god, it's out already. Be something good. It is something good. It's a quarter. Yeah. Nice, crusty quarter. Guys, I haven't seen a cut like this on this beach for what last season maybe, but it wasn't in this spot. It was around the last corner where you saw all the new sand pushed in and all this this sand is eroded. That's where I say the beaches change, you know. black sand really playing havoc on this knot. All right, I got a target right here. Oh, look at that. See what I mean? How black that is? See how windy it got right here. It's a dime. It's a dime. I think we officially hit the cycle. That might be. Oh, we're gonna have to look at that dime, guy. All right. Remind me of the wrap up. Well, a really close look at that. All right. Okay. Here, I'll actually show you how steep it is and how close the water is coming to me. And, you know, with my good back, I could just fly right on over this, you know, hump of sand into the dry sand like Superman. All right, guys. Yes, I am not, I'm only walking right underneath this because I can't detect this black area, not at all. This, the Nox will not do it. I could drop it in a single frequency and uh, if I wanted to, but again, it's gonna have issues. This is not good for a VLF. This stuff is great for your pulse induction and your BBS, and I'm curious about FBS. I've never tried FBS on this stuff. So for those of you guys who've ever tried, especially here at Sunset Beach, comment below and let me know how, what you use in this sand. I know my Sovereign goes right through it. I'd have no problem with the Sovereign. I'm gonna target right here. From 17 to 21 in that black sand. Now it sounds like all iron. Yeah, it's gonna be a chunk of iron, I think. What is that? Oh, washer. Okay.
Think I got another good target right here? Out. Wow, there. And I will take a crusty 1980-something quarter. Is that it? I think that was it. Well, the targets have been sparse and random. So, hopefully it picks up. Some people, I think on the way back, I'll have more opportunity to hitting this dry sand. I hit that cut down there. It was good. But, you know, it's it wasn't a great cut. It wasn't easy to detect, that's for sure. Got a target right here, guys. That's the best sounding target all day. Coin spill, yeah. Throw it out. Silent. Okay, let's get that. I think I see a quarter right there. All right, I know there's a quarter in there at least. Two quarters. Sweet. What is this thing? Two quarters and something green. All right. Anything else there? Oh, I love that one. That wasn't too hard. Everything else been hard digging for Jim. Okay, guys. Minesweeper Mark asks, what's the best technique to hunt in the surf? I was thinking a smaller coil will help reduce the resistance from the water, but worry that I'm losing depth. Well, guys, you're not going to lose much depth with the 11-inch coil versus a 15. Not enough, really, to care about. The if. You saw the, my Saturday video, you'll see the knocks get ripped out of my hand from that 15 inch coil. If I had the 11 inch coil, it wouldn't have been so bad. So I tend to have issues with the 15 inch coil in the wet, only in the SoCal harsh surf. Now, if there's hardly any surf, I love the 15 inch coil. I glide right through it. It's to me not much different than the uh, 11 inch. But when the waves are coming in and going out, it makes a big difference having that 11 inch versus the 15 inch. Okay, now Alex Ortega, check it out. This right here is very highly mineralized soil. This is actually worse than Doheny or even um, some areas of Crystal Cove. So you see how dark it is. I'm gonna put this down, you can see what it's gonna do. I'm going to be out of balance pretty quick. I'm already out of balance. You can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to field two for here. Most of the time I try the same technique in field one. But I know that field two works here. I'm going to change it down to... Uh, let's get, try 15 kilohertz first and see how this handles. Okay. Staying stable. You're not going to miss too many, guys. When you come across a quarter, a dime, a nickel, it's going to sink. Nice big gold ring is going to sink. But little targets like an earring or something, you're going to miss. And how do you solve this issue? You pull, you go to your car, 
and your pull out your either pulse induction machine or your BBS machine and I'm curious about the FBS and see how it handles here okay that's how I deal with this mineralized magnetite that's what this is black sand magnetite all it is is magnetic material hey guys I'm just walking back right on top of the cut now I think it was a 22, might be just a 10. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay. There's that cut that I hit earlier, but really couldn't detect too much. Because that magnetite goes down. It's awful. So I'm going to hit the top of it. Okay guys, here's the wrap up. It's actually Saturday morning. I'm a little bit behind in uh, my wrap ups. I actually have three wrap ups I'm going to film this morning, I think. Maybe. I got a busy day this Saturday. Alright. Anyways guys, I dug a lot of garbage. And when I dig a lot of garbage, I tend to find stuff. Alright. I didn't expect to find this much. Actually, guys, I want, realistically, that's more than what I was expecting to find when I'm talking about coins. And I was surprised with a ring, right? But that's just the way it is. Usually, if I know that there's other metal detectors on the beach, I shouldn't be finding that many bottle caps. But a lot of guys do discriminate. And because they discriminate, they leave me with these targets or they simply don't wear earphones and if you don't wear earphones you're not going to get many targets on the beach especially deep all right so and again remember i'm digging deep targets so some of those quarters initially sounded like garbage all right and that's why i dig it out and then when i know it's a good target then i've thrown it out of the hole and i turn on the camera and i show you guys it's pretty much how i work it but anyways so I got $2.25 in quarters, and yes, that is the quarter right here that uh, I threw in the uh, junk finds bag. I got two dimes, one that I'm going to have to take a look at. Um, I got a nickel. I got uh, eight pennies. A couple of new cars. Um, uh, a thing majig that I have no idea what it is, but it's heavy and metal, and it sounded really good. I thought I was digging a silver ring, a big chunky one. I found uh, a young lady's uh, identification card. Maybe it's a driver's license. I found a possible silver ring. I do believe that's going to be silver just the way it's so black. I did not see any marks on it. It's got a little heart to it. But I think in one of my tutorial Tuesdays, I'm actually going to take this with some electrolysis and get that cleaned up. And by the way, I did edit the part where I was digging that because I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug. I, I pushed this thing around so many times it became incredibly frustrating for me. I found a couple of weird things. You know when you hold these things your mouth goes open. Um, they were just laying around on the beach. I think it was probably some part of a kids game. But anyways guys it was a blast out there and uh, let's go to the would you dig it winner selection okay guys one for you i'm in park one i'm going to go to all metal mode all right and right here in my test garden would you dig it hold on Go 90 degrees. If you would dig it, comment below on what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. So let's check it out again. Let's go 90 degrees. Do it again this way. 
Okay guys, let's dig this thing up. You see it in there? It is. Silver bracelet I found on after uh, the uh, July 4th holiday. It's a silver bracelet. Okay guys, it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? I'm going to go to my TubeBuddy app. I'm going to select, pick a winner. Comment must contain the words, silver bracelet. Pick a winner. I swear I saw a bracelet in there at one time. Huh. Uh, let's go with silver chain. Minesweeper Mark, congratulations. Hmm, seems like it has some length, so I'm going with Silver Chain. Well, sir, Silver Chain is a perfect answer. So, Minesweeper Mark, send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page, and I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. Congratulations, Minesweeper Mark. Send me an email, and I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. So, guys... Let's select the winner of the CKG Carbon Fiber Beach Scoop One Piece Shaft. Okay guys, it's time to select the winner of the CKG Carbon Fiber Beach Scoop One Piece Shaft. I'm going to my TubeBuddy app. I'm selecting a pick a winner. Comment must contain the words. And I'm going to put, I love CKG. Pick a winner. Corey the treasure hunter. Congratulations, Corey. Wow. What a great win for you. Hey, guys, what you guys don't know is Corey actually just got an Equinox. And uh, so I know he'll probably utilize this uh, CKG uh, shaft very much. So congratulations, Corey. And if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you do check out Corey the treasure hunter. Uh, it's one of the channels I like to watch. And congratulations, Corey. Send me an email. I will need your address. And CKG will send you out your shaft directly. Congratulations, Corey the Treasure Hunter. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will, I will need your address because I will send that information to CKG and they will ship it directly to you. Okay? And if you have any issues, make sure you stay in contact with me. Okay? So guys, don't get discouraged. I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway happening right now. So let's check this one out. Okay guys, I'm here for the Would You Dig It and check it out. This company, Rico Max, sent me a metal detector to test and try and review. And I had my grandson out here earlier today and he went out, we actually went out to a park together and hunted a uh, little playground area and we really gave it a thorough test and I'll be airing that video this Thursday okay and uh, guys I found more gold the other day guys I'll be showing that video on Saturday and I'm behind on video creation and I found quite a bit of gold lately uh, I, I'm loving loving things so anyways guys I uh, just turned this thing on I don't know how well you could see it um, I have the sensitivity set pretty high. Battery's running a little low. It takes um, the 9 volt, two 9 volt batteries. Okay, so you can see the iron, um, uh, the uh, aluminum is also in the nickel range, gold, bronze range, silver range. You know, pennies kind of fall into this category too, I have found, especially if they're copper. Uh, anyways, so I think I have a target right here. Well, I know I have a target here. I planted it there All right, we'll go 90 degrees It's pretty strong would you dig it if you would dig it comment below on what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. That's pretty strong. 
All right, guys, let's dig this up. Would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select the next Tutorial Tuesday. And guys, don't forget about JJ James. He's got a giveaway, too, on his channel, so check him out right after mine, all right? So guys, if you like my videos, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell, and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at either one of these videos.